Hey there, it's James with Make It Happen Greenhouse, and it's been a while since I posted a video, so I thought I better just give an update. And I thought I would uh, give an update on the Lasha peppers, which um, you can see in the background here, some green ones and red ones. I don't, I haven't been measuring the weight of the number of peppers we pull out of the greenhouse, but I think we're approaching probably about 50 peppers. Um, have been pulled out and they are still growing like crazy so uh, really really bountiful harvest and they're just they're just growing wonderful uh, you know indoors and I'm just so happy about that number one they're just a beautiful pepper I mean that red is so brilliant um, and uh, they can go in anything so I had a friend try them and he described the the heat as or the the taste as Hey, they start off sweet, uh, then they kind of turn like a bell pepper, and then they wallop you with a little stinging heat, but it's it's not like a sustained heat, it, it, it wanes pretty quick. Um, so it's just like, it takes you through this journey every time you eat one. We've also had the opportunity to put them in chilies, uh, and the, the heat kind of dies down when you put it in a chili, and it kind of gets cooked out a bit. It's still flavorful, but it's not like blazing hot. Uh, it doesn't hold it uh, very much, just a little. And so I, I've also put them in a pickle mix, and that seemed to hold the heat a little bit more. I don't know if it's because of the seeds or reacting with the vinegar or what, but um, just, you know, a great variety of uses for these peppers. We'll continue to experiment with some things, but uh, let me uh, take you around the greenhouse and show you some more of them.